the Arizona Wildcats. First-year head coach Jed Fish. What a name. What a name. Uh, but it, it seems like this guy knows what he's doing. Just in the first however many months that he's been on the job, he was with the New England Patriots, right? Sure. Not a ton of college experience, but that's okay. If you know football, you know football, right? We, we figured that part out. This team went 0-5 last year under Kevin Sumlin, and they were a disaster. Uh, they nearly upset USC in the first game of the season. Probably should have won the game, honestly. Um, but they got demolished the rest of the year. And and at the end of the season, the 70-7 to track meet whipping that Arizona State put on the Wildcats, uh, that was just the end for Kevin. They had seen enough. We know it's a COVID year. We know it's been bad. Doesn't matter. But you can't lose 70-7 to to our rivals. That will not cut it. So, Jed Fish comes in. Uh, he brought in double digit P5 transfers this year, including three new quarterbacks. By the way, USF quarterback Jordan Cloud or McLeod that I was talking about earlier uh, on uh, on the AAC preview. This is where he ended up. Yep. So, uh, Fish hired Dan Brown or Don Brown. Excuse me. God bless America. I can't even can't even talk tonight. Uh, Don Brown, Michigan defense coordinator, as his new DC. Uh, the defense for him. They're going to need pass rushers. They are going to need good corners. I don't know how much talent they've actually got to to do that just yet, but I do know that he is a defensive mastermind. Sure. Wasn't able to stop Ohio State, but there is no Ohio State in this league. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious about this. The win total is two and a half. To go over is juiced at minus 130. To go under is plus 100. Uh, SP Plus has got him going three and nine. FBI has got him going four and eight. I got to tell you, I... I mean, look, they are dead last to win the conference, dead last to win the division. I'm going to go under the two and a half. Uh, I think BYU, San Diego State, uh, as two of your three non-conferences, Tough. not ideal. Tough. Not ideal. So I'm I'm going to go under the two and a half. I don't see where the wins are. What was the juice again? Uh, plus 100 to go under. Yeah. So basically even money. Yeah. I'm, I like it. Yeah, I would probably go under as well. Now that's not to say that I don't think that he can build this up. That's right. Years into no, the future. No, no, no. You just think this is a rough year to, right. to begin your it's start. Year one. So year one, I would, uh, I would go. I do you think the coaching staff is pretty great though? Don yes. Brown's been around for a long time. Don Brown's an amazing coach. I can't believe he left Michigan for this job. Well, he, I don't think he voluntarily left Michigan. <laughs> uh, I don't think he voluntarily left Michigan. Okay. He, he was kind of shown the door to bring in. Uh, uh, what's the uh, we'll talk about it when we get to Michigan State. The guy from the Ravens. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The linebacker's coach. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.